111 points, so you win two free tacos with a drink purchase from Jack in the Box tomorrow. Just ask for the Lakers deal when you order valid only at Los Angeles area restaurants. LeBron James scored a game-high 26 points in the win. He's speaking with Mike. LeBron, it's only been two games with uh, Russ coming off the bench. Of course, one without AD in Minnesota. But just wonder what you've seen and, and how that impacts the way that you guys play, the energy that that brings, the units, and, and kind of when you're on the floor and when you're not, and, and how you feel like played out. <clears throat> um, I mean, throughout Russ' career, at some point, he's um, had to run a team, you know, and um, it's a luxury for our ball club for, you know, minutes when myself and AD are not in the game and AD can run a, a, a unit. Um, and tonight he was just looked more and more comfortable in the role that, you know, he's been implemented in. And, you know, we needed all 32 um, sensational minutes that he had. So um, it was big time. LeBron, Darvin said to us that tonight was about you as a group, as a team, proving it to yourselves. And AD called it a, a must win. Did it, did it feel like that coming up to this <coughs> moment? You know, there's so many beats in a season in an 82-game schedule, but uh, what, what did it feel like to bring it together here, and, and how could that change the direction this season goes? Uh, I mean, we haven't played particularly well at home to start the season. Uh, we had some good moments in, in some of the games that we had, but I thought tonight uh, for 48 minutes, um, for the majority of 48 minutes, we were really good. And uh, once again, defensively, we were locked in, and uh, our offense caught up with us tonight. Um, you know, caught up with our defense tonight, and it, and it, and it showed in showed in the victory. Quick, well, quick, just quick follow <clears throat> on that. Um, obviously, three point land. You guys have struggled the first five games tonight. Thirteen for thirty, a really respectable number. How much can that be a factor in? Uh, you know, having sustained success, not necessarily shooting forty percent, but avoiding shooting twenty percent. Oh, I mean, listen, if we play the game the right way, <clears throat> as we've done so far in the season, uh, we've gave ourselves some really good looks because we've just shared the ball. And um, tonight they went in for us. Um, we, we trusted it. The guys were penetrating, guys were kicking out, and uh, guys were stepping into their shots. And you just trust the work that you put in. LeBron, how have you seen guys react to sort of the asks Darvin has made, you know, Kendrick tonight doesn't get his number called. Um, you know, Wenyon wasn't playing and is now playing, and Matt was out there in the, that big run after not playing a big stretch. Like, how have you seen guys kind of, how has Darvin managed that part of it, um, getting buy-in? And has that been encouraging <coughs> out of, you know, the first real month or so working with him? I mean, listen, at the end of the day, we're here for one reason, and that's to win. And you know, when, when guys' or numbers are called or not called, we also have to um, understand it's for the better of the team. You know, it's never for no individuals. And, you know, tonight was one of those cases where guys stay ready and guys just stay ready. Didn't, you know, number one called as, as, as much as it was before. But, you know, they were still locked in and, and cheering on the group and that group that was in there or the individual that was in there. So, you know, that's what the team is all about. LeBron, uh AD was clearly hobbled at different points of the game. He said post game that he's dealing with a lot of pain right now in his back, yet still had 23 and 15, you know, kind of tweaked it a couple times, played through that. What, what type of impact did he have tonight? And just as his teammate kind of seeing him gut through that and, and come up big in the fourth quarter. I mean, just minutes, um, you know, anytime he's matched up with, uh, you know, Joker and the MVP in our league, um, you know, you're able to match. You know, number for number. I mean, they both had, what, 23 and basically 15. Um, you know, so um, AD's impact was not only huge defensively, but also, also being very efficient offensively, getting those extra possessions at the rim, um, you know, knocking on his jumper. Uh, he just was all around just very efficient tonight. LeBron, one, one thing Darvin said about Russ's bench shift so far is that guys kind of come in seeing his energy and, and seeing how he's kind of infusing the guys he's playing with the confidence and Darwin said guys don't want to screw that up once they once they check in um, do you feel sort of the the momentum coming from Russ's you know bench stints lately and does that does that roll over to when you check back in uh, well Russ, Russ has always been um, very efficient in our league when he's um, played with pace and um, you know, when you make a sub uh, in our league, um, you know, you want the pace to continue to be high or you want a spark, you know, to even increase, 
you know, the first unit. And uh, I mean, we have the luxury of being able to go to someone who's who can spark, uh, you know, pace and can, can get the ball up the floor and rebound and push and, you know, use his energy to be able to, um, you know, uh, bring, like I said, they bring that energy to whatever lineup that's out there. So, like I said, it's very, very beneficial to our to our ball club right now, and uh, Russ is taking full advantage of it. Hey, Bron, uh, Russ said that Darvin couldn't even imagine or put into words necessarily what Russ has been through and that it hasn't necessarily all been his fault. Um, if you could put into words just what you've seen as his teammate and then what was it like seeing tonight, like the crowd standing up and cheering when he raised his arms? What's it like for you to see him receive that kind of love here? Uh, I mean, it's I think obviously it's, 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 uh, it's great. I mean, um, in the sense that, you know, Laker faithful want us to win. They want us to play well. They want every individual in the, in the, in the Laker uniform to play well as well. So um, tonight, uh, Russ and the rest of us was able to give them something to cheer about. Thanks, Andre. Lonnie Walker and Austin Reeves both.